What's up? My name is Lau Benega, and this is my five, four, three, two, one. All right, Lau, start with five. Five fashion fails you've made in the past. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up. Uh, five of them? Dang! Alright, I d definitely had to be trucker hats. Trucker hats in the beginning. No, Von Dutch hats. I've done it only once. Back in, uh, what is it, 2002, 2003? That's definitely one. Huh, let me see. I know I pretty much dodged every single major bullet to like, you know, you we all remember like the wrestling boots and everything. All those things, but dang, I can't think of any more. I've done a do-rag headband. I've done the do-rag headband. I had shaved head, done the do-rag with the fitted. Um, but that joint looked fly though, I gotta say. When I, back, when I was, <laughs> I gotta say, when people were doing it, it kinda was like this, but dude. <laughs> okay, so tall tees, definitely did tall tees. Baggy ass pants, you know what I'm saying? But um, is, that, is that a fashion? No, no, because I still love that. <laughs> I've done the polo with the freaking joint up here, man. When Kanye West came out in that shit. I, yeah, yeah. And I maybe have contemplated putting that a freaking, you know, wristband because on the freaking arm, but I definitely said no to that. But definitely collared up. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and you had to feature four artists on your track. Who would you pick? And why? Shoot, I would say Nas, Andre 3000, and I'm just thinking of like spitters, <laughs> you know? And actually what they represent. So, who else? I would have to throw a new guy, so Kendrick Lamar, for sure. Oh man, that's already roasted. I want to hear it right now. <laughs> One more. Hmm. I would say Miguel. Yeah, Miguel. He, he has a good range to him, so, yeah. Three, you've done a lot in your career, but three things on your bucket list you want to accomplish. Before Three go. before I go. Anything, dance-wise, life-wise. Oh man, that's that's a tough one. Three things in my bucket list that I would want to accomplish. I would say being a director on a tour, being able to fully shape the way of an artist, a major artist is as far as like, you know, having a say of what he wears, what he does in the music video, what his whole choreography is, his whole steez, and having to be able to build off that, you know? Third one, I would definitely want to open a studio for sure, as far as just to be more, taking my skill and just giving it out to a younger audience, you know, and build them up from the ground up as opposed to just having already like great dancers or you know dancers who are trying to make it because that's what I usually do as a teacher but I would definitely want someone who's young who's like a sponge and just you know set them up for life. Two, know you're a Bruce Lee fan, what two things about him inspires you? Man, okay so I, I can relate a lot to his um, his philosophy as far as what he brings to just arts you know I know he, he relates it a lot to martial arts and but it just is so relatable to anything that has to do with arts and the second one his swag man uh, he got so much flavor dude have you seen this stuff when he's just naturally just chilling man he's yeah it's all that <laughs> all right last one if someone had to play you in a movie who would you choose and why who is out there man i don't know that many filipino <laughs> <laughs> what actors do i know i don't even know that many actors Joseph Gordon-Levitt, that would be dope as hell in, in, a, in a world that uh, he actually looked like me. But his whole, his whole um, feeling, like when he's on camera, is very just almost to himself, you know what I'm saying? It has that kind of vibe to him. No matter what kind of character he's playing, like you can tell that there's something going on, I don't know, behind the eyes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm Lau Benega, and I survived 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Barely. <laughs>